first speaker of the second half is Angie Hung. Hungi, Hungi, Hungi dances, uh, I hope that's not a typo in my script, but Hungi dances and choreographs at night. <laughs> And works as a project manager during the day. Everyone, please put your hands together for Angie Hungi Hung. Before I start, can you hear me in the back? Okay. Now, can you hear me? And I'm ready. Boom. I'm going to talk about this and invite you all to join me. My interpretation of boom is saying this is slamming in your face. Who's your daddy now? This is the ultimate boom. Prince Harry bringing it to President Barack Obama for the Invictus Games. Even his mom, the queen, got in on the action. Google it. Boom. Remember where you were when Canada won the men's Olympic gold in Vancouver 2010? It was that brought it home for us in sudden death overtime on a pass from Jerome McGinley. Yeah. If you didn't know what being high felt like, you knew it then. We won the gold and we beat the U.S. Hashtag Canadian, hashtag boom. Here's a light-hearted example, no pun intended. This gives me faith in humanity. Studies suggest that red wine in moderation is healthy for the heart. Wine provides antioxidants and lowers your, increases your good cholesterol. I wasn't a wine drinker now, but because I care about my health, I now have at least one glass a day. Boom. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, if you like beer, this is going to blow your mind. I have type 2 diabetes and my blood sugars were always high. Guess what brings my blood sugars down to a normal level? Beer. The sad thing is, I don't even like beer, but I'm trying to acquire the taste, that's my beer below. For my health, of course, bottoms up, boom. <laughs> Remember when being a nerd was not cool? Thanks to shows like The Big Bang Theory, nerds are not only cool, they actually end up with Penny, the beautiful girl. Nerds are also smart, rich, and on the cover of magazines. I've noticed that people from high school who are now, who are now the fit, good-looking good ones were nerds before. Boom. For the next few slides, I'm going to get serious. Bullying is scary, and it's a reality. It's always been around, and now there's so many ways to do it. But when the bullied person turns things around and kicks it to the bully's face, I have to say boom. I don't condone violence, but when the small, little, puny kid ends up knowing karate, boom. Hiya! <laughs> this is Karen Klein, a school bus monitor. She was bullied in atrocious ways by four young boys. She was called a fat ass, told that nobody would sleep with her, and that she should kill herself. The video of her bullying became viral. The kids got death threats. A fundraising page raised $700,000, and she was able to retire. That's what I'm talking about. That is a boom. Boom. The slide says, Stanford rapist Brock Turner is banned from USA Swimming for Life. This is a recent story about the college swimming star who raped an unconscious girl who was found guilty and sentenced to just six months in jail. When people finally get the punishment that they deserve, this constitutes a boom. Many years in jail would also be nice. <laughs> Take a look at this fat girl. That's me, in university. I lost 50 pounds by accident. When my parents went on vacation, I started overeating foods that I love, like oranges and soybean juice. I lost 15 pounds in two weeks. I didn't diet and I didn't cheat, like getting an operation. I had so many oranges that I forgot to eat fat. Boom. I also accidentally got into dance. I started something I loved and was good at. Over the span of a few years, the weight came off. Remember, no dieting and no operation. I also got into fitness so I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want. Here's me completing the Spartan race last year, the fat girl before and the fit girl after. Before and after, boom. <laughs> You really didn't realize what I mean by before and after. Let's pause for a bit. And admire Zach Arthon. Great to show that anybody can make positive and healthy changes. Oh, who am I kidding? This is just healthy on the eyes. And sometimes. 
time, through no fault of her own, we are dealt something absolutely devastating like cancer. Don't you love stories of people who not only survive cancer but overcome it? There's no better satisfaction than turning doctors into liars by living years beyond what they said you can live. To be clear, I'm not a cancer survivor, but to those that defy the odds, boo. Another great example of not just surviving but overcoming is, as you heard Lauren adhere to, is when you're faced with overwhelming obstacles like the Calgary 2013 after the floods. The city came together and citizens proudly helped each other to build Calgary again. Let's make Calgary great again! Just kidding. Sorry about that. <laughs> Calgary has always been great. We will get back to that oil boom. I've always loved rainbows. It's the reason I love rain, because this is what you see when the sun comes out. Color is not only beautiful in objects, color is beautiful in people. Can I get an amen, amen to that? Amen. I never even knew that rain rainbows are the symbol of the gay community. I just knew they were stunning. Boom. So when an ignorant, uneducated, self-loathing hater decided to shoot up a gay dance club in Orlando, what happened? The exact opposite of what he wanted. People expressed love and support for the LGBTQ community and waved their pride proudly. When someone tries to spread hatred, it ends up doing the opposite, spreading love instead. Boom. Remember that your boom can be anything that gets you excited. <laughs> getting, up, getting up in the morning only to realize it's the weekend and you can go back to bed. Getting the perfect amount of drunk where you can still remember what happened. <laughs> Eating what you want and not gaining weight. Ordering the, for me, ordering the perfect piece of meat. Boom. <laughs> So, what is your boom? I challenge every one of you to do something new and different each day so that you can have your own boom. So that every day you have a reason to drop that mic. So that you can have your own before and after. Get out there, drape yourself with the innocence of a child where you can do anything because there are no rules. For me, here are a few of my booms. I like breaking the rules and challenging society's norms. That's me doing a handstand in New York. The sign says, keep hands off door. <laughs> Notice that it doesn't say, keep hands off floor. <laughs> I buy Lego for me, and the staff always assume it's for my kids. I'm smart enough to know and overcome in an adult world and still be a child, and I have everybody fooled. Boom. <laughs> this is a gorgeous picture of the Spice Girls, and I'm really just posting this to show this off. I took this picture at their Vancouver concert in front row. Sporty Spife waved to me and later told me in Los Angeles that she meant to wave to me because she knows me. I don't know how. Boom. I live, in, I live in that Victoria and David Beckham. The Spice Girls are a reason I love life so much. I'm going to leave you with another ultimate boom. Bautista's bat flip when he hit a three-run homer in the seventh inning last year. Remember that? All of Canada was rocked to the core with a boom. Google this moment if you still don't know what it means to flip the bat, drop the mic, and experience a boom. I'm done. Boom. <laughs>